Mr. Nash? I found your business card, so I'm contacting you now. Who is this? I'm in the middle of a meeting. It's Malachi Burnett. Who? Your safari guide. Ah, uh, <laughs> right, right, right. I, I was waiting for you to call me. Uh, excuse me for a moment. Uh, meeting adjourned. I have to take this call. Uh, hey, Jack, pay the bill for me, will you? Sorry for the way I replied. I have to oversee dozens of important projects at the same time, and occasionally I just snap. Uh, I understand that, Mr. Nash. And call me Percy, Malachi. I need you to be discreet. Do not tell anyone about this. Unless it's illegal, I'm here to help. You know about my business, right? Sparkle, sparkle. Double sparkling water. Not before you arrive, no. I believe it's not selling here. And that's my problem. I want it to be the best-selling bottled water across the world. So, I thought I'd make it more appealing to the local people, using natural sources in Tikamoon Plains. I've prepared a water test kit for you and the location of two springs I want you to test for water quality. Wouldn't it be better for a state laboratory to test it? I have no experience with anything like this. Unlike my daughter, I'm pretty sure I failed chemistry at school. No. My number one priority is discreetness. The fewer people know about this, the better. The test kit is waiting for you in the kitchen. Call me after you reach the springs and test them. Dad, you never call me this late. Sorry, did I wake you up? Yeah. I'm sorry, Nugget, but can you help me with this? I'm testing water with a test kit and some colored strips and can't figure out the results. Why are you doing that? Well, I'm supposed to be discreet, but one of our guests wants to use the local Highland Springs for bottled water, and I'm testing them for him. With those home water test kits? You should send it to the laboratory. That's what I told him. The boxes usually contain instructions with a color chart. Check the color of the strip and compare it to the chart. These tests are designed to be easy to read, but I can tell you right now, he's not the first one who thought of using those springs. There was a recent study in Tikamoon Plains, and it was advised not to use the Highland Springs. A group of researchers found out that animals also avoid them. I didn't know about the study. I'll contact the guy then. I love how you know everything. Finally, you admit it. You know, it would have helped my self-esteem as a teenager. Thank you, and good night, Nugget. Good night, and don't drink that water. Hello, Percy. 
I've just tested the first spring. I found out about a recent study in the area. I've read the study, and I don't care. What were the results? The water has very high levels of copper, iron, and fluoride. Damn it. Never mind. Find the second spring and test it as well. Call me. And don't concern yourself with studies. Only do what I tell you to. Percy, I tested the second spring, and the results are the same. Animals don't drink this, and neither should humans. Then we will stick to plan B. I already bought the land for both of those springs. We will build electric fences around them. Claim the water is fine, but use the source we have in the States. And here, it'll just be a front. Is that all, Percy? Yes. Oh, wait, no. Did you speak to Michaela recently? Yes. Your assistant asked me to mention your perfect marksmanship to her. And? How did she react? She was... astounded. Then I don't understand. She's been avoiding my calls. That woman is harder to reach than an angel investor on vacation. Or a drinkable spring in Tickamoon Plains, for that matter. I'll deal with it myself. Thank you. Your five stars aren't going anywhere. I don't need five stars, but thank you very much for thinking about me. If I could be so brazen as to ask, would you be able to give me a signed copy of Trigger Vixen? Ooh. Well, getting Michaela Vaughn's authentic signature for Trigger Vixen is a Herculean task. But I can fake one signature if it's for you. It's for my boss, actually. I know that Miss Vaughn doesn't like the comic book. Do you know why? Is it controversial? No, it's not. It's just portrayed in a very heroic way. And I know Michaela is a hero. I was there. But she didn't say any cool words or kick the man in the face. She disarmed him and saved everyone, but shivered the entire time. It was extremely brave, but she feels like she was weak, like she could be better. Just like the trigger vixen. Oh, I don't know why I'm telling you this. Keep it to yourself, okay? Somehow you have this aura of comforting security. Well, gotta go. Thanks. 